Hey guys, this is Jamal with Gospel Musicians coming at you and uh, we have already launched the MK Sensation Extreme for the iOS and the iPad. Um, we just have a couple of service announcements, updates. Um, the number one question we've been getting constantly so far is how do you load the plugins? So we're going to do this both for the iOS and we're going to do this for the desktop in one sitting. So here is the desktop version the desktop version and the iOS version are virtually the same as far as functionality the only difference is the samples because we don't have uh, here's the desktop and you see the you can see the actual um, sounds we have piano 1a piano 1b the iOS version does not have that it just has piano 1b so we had to conserve space because we can't have you with 20 big old megs on your, I mean, gigs on your iPad. So um, before we talk about how to activate the uh, plugins, it's important to know the architecture. So one through eight is one, one through eight sounds. So this, the purpose of MK Sensation is stacking. So you have up to eight full sounds to stack. And so these one through eight, tabs correspond to all of the synthesis that you can do we have the ability for you to add a plug-in sound to this number so many of you are probably trying to look here which is presets and how to add the um the the plug-in sounds but no you have to look at the sound so you have to be on the sound tab and you choose which button you want to load the plug-in so in this case we're going to load it on number one so we're on the sound tab we're on number one and we go up to sound and so what you can see is we have all of the analog oscillators signs rectangle saws other waveforms we got wavetables in this tab in this tab we have all of the samples all of the categories here but here you see it says plug-in loader so what we do is go to plug-in loader and we scan for new plugins here we have a plug-in manager where you can actually see all of the plugins that you have and we show all and we can see all of the plugins that we actually have now in this case I need to scan for all new plugins so uh, let's scan all you're gonna go through all this craziness here and you might get a crash that is normal with all crazy plugins to be compatible and everything like that so do not worry about that because whatever crashed we will skip the plugin that has been crashed All right, so all of our plugins are scanned. As you can see, uh, we're scanned. We got the plugin loader. We got gospel musician stuff, heart, isotope. We don't have a lot of plugins because we kind of look at our own stuff. We got native instruments, rolling cloud, studio linked, or one of our partners, uh, UVI uh, serum. So let's just go to UVI here. We go to, uh, let's go to Falcon. We open up Falcon. We load, um, let's load our own stuff. Neo So Keys, preset, ba ba ba. And bam, we have, uh, so when we go back on this button right here, we see Falcon is loaded on this button. Okay, so that's how that works. Now let's go on over to this iPad here same scenario same scenario on the ipad make sure you're in sound you go here let's extend this and then what we're going to do is go over to plug in loader now as you can see we have arturia isim gospel musician stuff ridiculous stuff that's our um old site uh sugar bites so let's just load up sugar bites you see it says open and then we have the ability to and now we have Factory by Sugar Bites open. All right. So that is a free plug for them. I actually like their stuff. 
um, from one developer to another they got some really nice stuff so we close this down and so we will we should be able to look and we see factory on the number one button and so you can load all of the plugins there has been issues with some cpu stuff we have fixed those and up and coming uh, updates as well so one thing about us is that even though if we have bugs on launch we will fix the stuff all right let's go back back over to the desktop where we can see a mouse now the second main thing that people have been asking from us at the same time is hey how do you map a fader all right so mapping faders are easy all you do you can map anything here any widget here you right click and you say learn MIDI CC once you say learn MIDI CC you move your knob you see that this new CC is there now okay then you can apply globally if you want to so that this always stays or you can apply it to a uh, patch so we're not we're gonna say learn and now when I move this this is there okay 